What's going on everybody? Joel here, Stay 48 Exotics. Uh, so today's little video, I just wanted to kind of do a quick overview on some little piece of technology that I picked up to really hammer down the exact ambient temperatures here in this room and get a little more serious. Uh, I wanted to kind of also show off just a couple snakes, just because that's what this channel is all about, snakes, right? So yeah, stay tuned, let's do it. Okay, so we uh, we got this uh, fancy Inkbird um, probe and thermostat to plug into uh, this bad dog right here. Um, this is my little little space heater. Um, there's my cricket holder, but this is my little space space heater that I've been running. And what I have been doing is I've just been using this um, thermostat. This is like the, it's built in thermostat for the unit, but as you can see, it's not very specific. So what I ended up doing, and it's not really put together just yet that clearly, but because I have, you know, I have all these wires running all over the place right now and nothing's really set up that pretty, but I went ahead and I purchased that Inkbird and I have it set to 80 degrees in here. Um, there is a variance on it. It does do a, uh, like it, it has like a, it almost has like its own night drop. Um, so it, it is set to go off, uh, to keep it at 80 degrees, but it does drop down to 78. I have it at a two degree drop. So there, there will be a, about a two degree swing. I might change that to just a one degree swing. Um, it is a little lower right now than it usually is because I do have everything unplugged right now or the heater would be blowing and I feel like I'd get a lot of residual sound that I didn't necessarily want in this video. So I did, I did un, unplug or I turned off the actual heating element. Um, but it's kind of pretty cool because you have almost a double fail safe. You know, I have the probe sitting right here. Uh, so that's not exactly, it's not exactly where I'm going to keep that, uh, forever, but it's, it's working for me just immediately right now until I, you know, hang that on the wall and get a little more organized with it, which is how we'll certainly be doing very shortly. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's kind of cool because it's, it's almost a double fail safe because the heating element has its own thermostat on it and then it's plugged into a thermostat. So I have the heating element set to what I would think is a little bit higher um, by a few degrees. So if the thermostat fails, the heating element itself will turn off. So that's, that's kind of cool to have kind of both, both going at the same time. Um, but yeah, so you really want your heating elements to be on point because if it gets too hot in here, that's just gonna be disastrous for essentially everything, everything. All of these animals it's gonna be disastrous for, uh, especially with breeding season around the corner, you're gonna potentially kill follicles, kill sperm, stuff like that. And we, and we just, that's not, that's not part of my plan. So I really just want that to be settled in dialed in perfectly, you know, like we're, we're handled around here now. Um, so that's good. But uh, yeah, so let's pull out a couple snakes and uh, show them off really quick. All right, so here we have our, oh, let's find your head. This is a uh, pastel inchy uh, hypo or ghost, however you want to say it. Um, not really that big of a deal, I reckon. You get the point. But uh, these I, it's it's a set of twins basically. I bought I bought two of them. Um, they were just so gorgeous. I didn't I didn't I didn't know how I could pass them up. They are so bright, so clean. I mean, they hardly have any black flecking in it. And you know that has helped with the inchy. But uh, the hypo gene does amazing amazing things. I think it is highly 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 underrated um, as far as its price goes in the market right now. And uh, I don't really know why. I think these animals are absolutely incredible. Um, so let's pull out the uh, sister. She's ready to eat. Ugh. <clears throat> Here is the sister. Um, she is absolutely stunning. And I just, I love, I love the hypogene. I can't wait to get it incorporated into more of the projects here. And that's, this is basically the start of it for me right here. I'm, these uh, these two little girls are gonna be uh, the uh, 
founding mothers, not the founding fathers of Hypo here. And uh, I just, I literally cannot wait. They are, they are absolutely incredible. Um, these snakes, they eat like freaking boas. They, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're amazing. Um, I picked these up at the Pomona show there in August. They were about 128 grams, and as you can see, they've uh, they put on some substantial weight. So I just I couldn't be more excited to have them here. I couldn't be more amped to have this as my start. Inchy is something that I've really been looking for to add to the the uh, group here, and um, yeah. So Inchy has been really something that I've been really looking to add to uh, the group here because it's it's such a f pivotal gene to have in a wide, wide range of animals. So I, I'm pumped to have them inside of the, the hypo gene itself. Um, pastel is also great with, uh, with hypo. Um, pastel goes really well with a lot of genes. Sometimes I feel like it does have a tendency to wash things out. So it's pastel to me is one of those genes that goes great in specific genes. Um, the uh, the hypogene seems to go great in everything, um, especially the darker genes like the black pastel hypos, stuff like that. It's just phenomenal. Um, hypo Desert Ghosts, uh, Adam over at Beach Bums, he just did his first video and did an unboxing. Has those Hypo Desert Ghosts, that Orange Dream Desert Ghosts. I mean, that's insane. You know, the, the black pastel that he put up there, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's bonkers. I, I love it. I love it. Um, and if it all makes sense, I mean, you know, I don't know if anybody saw that uh, hypo sunset that, uh, who was it? Brock Wagner, I think Brock Wagner just made that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, arbitrary. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen that hypo sunset. It's phenomenal. Um, and wouldn't you know, that would be the direction I'm trying to head there with those inches, you know. Uh, nothing like putting the uh, carriage before the horse, but you know, I don't know. Love that gene. Love both. Love love those snakes. They're they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. Um, they eat like boas. I mean, that's you can't get any better when you're talking about a ball python in those situations. So, anyways, sorry everybody. Um, yeah, go out check out that Ink Bird. Um, it's a it's an incredible product. It's done so much so much good things. So much good things. Um, it's an incredible product. It's done very well in here. It's kept the temperature right where I want it to be over the past four or five days since I've had it. I'm super impressed with it. So having said that, now we can get more serious with our ambient air and we get more serious about our breeding projects here in the, uh, in the snake dojo. So can't go wrong with that. But uh, there it is everybody, quick little video. I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope everybody's having a killer day. Um, I hope everybody's Thanksgiving was phenomenal. Um, and let me think. Yeah. Okay. Well, see you later, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good night. Good morning. Good evening. And, uh, until next time, let me know what y'all think. See ya.